Hello and welcome back to my Loop Hero Let's Play. Um, ready to jump back in uh, where we left off last time. We had a really, really good run uh, with the Rogue. Uh, I'm feeling a little uh, I'm kind of ready to kind of mix it up a little bit. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in. We're going to take the Grove out. It's, obviously, you can't have the Blood Grove if you don't have the Grove. We're going we're gonna to put in the Swamp and the Ruins. We're going to take our Desert as well as we're going to do the Meadows just for the Treasury, really. But uh, it'll also give us a heal. Uh, every day technically so um, we're gonna do that for now uh, we won't have anything to hitch me meadows to except for the treasury stuff and then you know well I mean technically you can put them anywhere but if you want the maximum amount it needs to be by something so we're gonna see how the runes do this is just so that you can see what the runes do they spawn scorch worms every two days and swamps uh, mosquitoes every three days this is also in an effort to get a resource that we have almost none of um, so we're going to try to see if this makes any difference. It might be the difficulty we're running currently. Um, although I would think that you would get them regardless. But uh, we are still kind of... After I get this first warehouse down, I think I'm going to kind of branch out and do some other stuff here before we move kind of into this stuff. What we're trying to go for is either this or that. Um, I think this maybe. But uh, if we could get our hands on forest, we'd be doing really good. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's just try this. Uh, this may work. This may fail. You know, who knows? If you don't try stuff, you're never going to know. So uh, let's get going. We're still pretty weak in the grand scheme of things, though. So keep that in mind, obviously. Okay. Oh, almost forgot to put this down. Okay, now we've got our extra slot. And remember, as usual, it's always about, uh, for Rogue, it's about how many kills you get. Okay. So this is a new tile. Mosquito spawns every three days. All healing effects are lethal here, except for potions. They will still heal you. We'll see how that affects us. Um... A little trick though now, I'm gonna start putting these down I'm gonna save one side for the treasuries and everywhere else I'm just gonna put these this is actually when you when you put enough of these down it will spawn a new creature that we've never seen as well or you guys have never seen okay. I'm gonna go You'll notice this now, so withering, this this debuff will continue to get larger and larger. Uh, okay, didn't mean to speed past this. And this just happens to be a higher version. So these are only 0.5, these are 1. It does not, to my knowledge, it makes no difference uh, whether they're together like the mountains versus the regular stuff. So that's something to consider as well. Okay, let's see what type of gear we have here. Let's first start with our... Okay, well that's obviously better, so let's do that. We got no weapons. That's uh, that's pretty unlucky, if, if I'm being honest. Pretty unlucky indeed. So that's going to make the next run, uh, the next round, pretty tough. Three, three, five. Okay. Pure damage. Uh, we're just going to go with the boots. The, the higher boots here. Okay, 24 and crit. Ooh, evasion. 25, 25. I think we're going to go with this. We got no extra weapon. That's that's really unlucky. Not a whole lot we can do about it. Okay, here's a rune, so let's go ahead and put this out. Um, let's put it out. Let's put it back here. Okay. Oops. 
Okay, we got some more silverware. Great. And again, we're just kind of we're testing the water right now, just kind of see how this how this works. At some point, there it is, right there. Okay, zero. Desert spirit each loop. 33% chance to join a battle anywhere on the road. Appears for every seven dunes. Okay, interesting. And now we're down to 7% decreased health. Now remember, it does affect me too. But the difference is I have the shield and they do not. Which is why I believe this works quite well. And at least when I was playing it before, it was, it was quite good. Okay, here's our vampire mansion. Now, here's a, here's a secret. Well, it's not really a secret, but uh, swamps, uh, when vampires are in there, they're actually going to hurt the things in the swamp with, um, with the uh, vampirism rather than help. So we're gonna put swamps around this and see how we do. Hopefully this ends up being good. We need some weapons like ASAP. So if you could give us some weapons, some good weapons, that'd be, that'd be great. Okay, where do I wanna put this? I'm gonna to have to block this spot at some point. So I guess I'll just, I can't block that spot, unfortunately. So we just kinda, of, we lose for that one. I mean, considering we have one weapon, I think we're doing pretty decent. Now, you do not want to put this next to those worms. I'd keep that away. Okay. Where do we want to put this? Hmm. Let's see what we get for drops here. If we get anything. Okay, now that went pretty well, right? I mean, I'd say that went pretty well, considering. Okay. Boom. Alright. Well, we got, we got two weapons. We got exactly two weapons, so... Let's take it. Perfect. Now let's get our armor in order here. So none of that is better, I don't think. So we'll we'll hold what we have here. Say so 77 and crit damage. 77, 69 and pure, 41 and 46. So crit damage chance is good. I'm going to take this to override it though. We did get upgrades here. I'm going to go ahead and... How am I going to do this? We're going to push the envelope just a tad bit here. And he attacks really fast. Here's the ziggurat. Okay, here it is. This is what it looks like. Oops. Okay, let's level up. What do we get? Okay, well, all of this is terrible. That's unfortunate. Of all the things you could pick, this is really bad. It's unfortunate, because this could really make or break us. Looks like we're taking that one. Okay.
Now, one thing that could definitely be different is uh, we're not we're not spawning the some of the um, goblins like we were before. Okay, that was a lot of damage right out of the game. We did survive it, which is good. I mean, I guess I could just trigger a meadow down here. I got more than enough to do that, but... We're just going to keep putting the desert things down. We're already down 11%. I mean, so far, so good. I would say this is pretty, pretty effective. Now, I'm going to be a little sparing with this. I cannot believe how many meadows we have right now. going to spawn, it is going to spawn bandits and not goblins, but I really don't like the bandits. Let's just see how we do here. Wow, that, that was rough. I didn't even look to see if I had anything I needed to look at here. That's unfortunate. We got a lot of weapons that time. Okay. Well, clearly we have some upgrades here. 28, 23, 25, so that's technically higher. 23... Well, I, I think we're just going to go with pure damage at this point. That just jumped that quite a bit. Okay, as far as the chest piece goes, I mean, we might as well just upgrade it with some more defense. Evasion might be better than crit damage at 10%. I think I will take that. I know it's a little bit of a downgrade, but whatever. And then these are exactly the same, so there. Okay. Okay. Okay, then. I'm going to go ahead and just finish this guy off. Now they give us level fours of stuff. Well, yeah, I mean... Okay, that's fine. Just keep in mind, everywhere we go... That might be really dangerous, so instead I'll put it here. Um, every time we fight, we're getting a, a reduction to health. In this case, you see a lot of other stuff. The poisonous gas, all healing, regen, and vampirism deals damage instead. That's what I was saying. Uh, so it's the vampires are actually hurting the mobs in the area, not helping. Not to mention, we still have... What do we have? It's, every, HP is lowered by 13%. Well, we're still we're still doing great. I mean, at least if you ask me, anyways. Um, that being said, it's not like we have a lot of health to play with here. So, these meadow cards might have been a mistake. Thirty-five HP 
pill per day. Okay, cool. We'll do that for now. That was a ghost. I wasn't quick enough to show you, but that was a ghost mob. Okay, here's another zero. Let's see what we got here. Come on, please be something better. Oh my god, it's all garbage again. I've tried this before and it's just not good. I don't like that at all, and I don't like this. I actually wish I could not do any of these. I don't really want to do this either. I don't guess it hurts me, but I don't particularly love it. Whatever. It's such a wasted slot. So far, the two traits we've gotten are absolutely atrocious. I guess we'll take that, but... Now, having too many of these out at once can really hurt you. Uh, I'll put one more out, but... Oh, now that one's good. Plus 1% to vampirism. If the hero already has it, well, guess what? Rogue starts with 5% no matter what. So if you can stack a bunch of these chairs, uh, you can really, really clean up. Okay, I might be getting a little carried away with what I'm placing. I'm starting to get slip back into my old habits of just dropping everything. So let's just see if we can survive this. Now you'll notice they should have pretty low health. Yeah, we're still we're still doing all right. We're still hanging in there, no problem. It would appear. And all we're doing is just making them weaker and weaker. And by the way, this obviously does affect the boss. So you can see what they look like. Look at that. They have 32 health. <laughs> That's so cute. Didn't get an orb for that. That's disappointing. For sure. Okay, we're coming, we're coming up on spawning the boss, but what I'm going to do is try to build this out. We're only on enemy level 4, like loop level 4, and we're already almost ready to spawn the boss. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty insane, actually. I'm not going to put a second one of these yet, but I will hopefully eventually. Just absolutely destroyed. Now, it's when we get a lot together, that's when we start to see that it might be a bit scary for us. Yeah, that's a little scary. We definitely took some damage there. Okay, we use some potions. Okay, let's not let's not panic. Am I overdoing it? That's the question. I didn't even look at stuff before I saw all that go bye bye again. Okay. So let's see what what do we have. So that is just this flat increase to a lot of things, but in addition, I get damage to all defense and counter, so that might be worth considering. This goes all the way up to 32, and this is 32. That's only 26. I wish this was the higher roll, but it's not. Typically, you want decked out versions of Katars. Uh, for your uh, your rogue. Typically that's going to be the best weapon, but in this case we have 18 to 28, so this is barely an upgrade over the axe. This is, this is an upgrade. Both of these are upgrades. So the question is, do I care that much about all the other stuff? Maybe I just go straight DPS and not worry about it. 
Okay, so we're gonna go from 39 to 59. 39 to 59, now we're doing 47 to 71. Okay, now let's look at our next category, which in this case is boots. We, we are fighting vampires, so 2% 2 2 evasion for nine pure damage. I think that's a good trade-off. Now let's look at chests. Three twenty with fourteen percent attack speed. That can be really good. See later, we're not going to care about attack speed because of a different card we're going to be playing. But for now, attack speed on a rogue is actually pretty good. Um, but we don't have any, of course. I think we're going to try this. Let's see how it does. Okay. Um, I can put that one there safely, so we're good there. Okay, we got a lot of stuff spawning. I think I'm going to slow down on the, uh, yeah. I can already tell that we may have bit off a bit more than we can chew now. This might be a bit much. Now, that being said... As you can see, we are leveling up a, lot, a heck of a lot faster. So I could roll new traits, or I could just get this. 10% chance to simultaneously attack two targets. We're going to take that. I mean, we could very well lose, because we I did push this a little harder than I normally would have. This is normally the type of armor that you want, but... And this is the, the necklace you typically want as well, but yeah, neither one of those is better, unfortunately, for us. Okay, I was not ready for that to spawn, but luckily we only got one. We can get rid of it immediately. Okay, loop five. Well, okay. If I make it that far, I don't even know if I'm going to make it that far. Right here, this is where I'd probably die. Thirty-nine health minus twenty-five percent. Look at this. Are you serious right now? That's uh, insane. Okay, that ability where it hits two things with this low of health—that's really starting to pay off. Look at the health of these guys. Yeah, like. It's it's, it's looking pretty strong so far, if I do say so myself. This might be some of the best uh, loot we're going to bring back, just based off that. I could put other stuff down, but I'm not going to, so I really don't want to die here. None of this is really better than what we have. Well, actually, that one might be. Evasion, attack speed, and counter versus the pure damage. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know, because you can see pure damage here is a separate stat. So, especially against the final boss, that might be better to have. I'm going to hold for now. We don't have a lot of health. This is really cool, though. We might actually be able to get all of these unlocked. We might not. We might just die. We are getting really close. It's going to be a shame if we die here. We are going to take all our loot, obviously, though. Look at all this stuff. It's not, it doesn't even look like that much stuff, too. It's, that's amazing to me. I don't know how we're going to survive this, but maybe we will. I mean, here's the thing. We're not going to survive the Lich anyways. Okay, there it is. 
So, unfortunately, we did die. We, we pushed it a little too hard. That's disappointing, but we are definitely going to take all, because I'm not going to leave all that loot. Eh. Okay, so I pushed it a little harder than I probably should have, but I, I do think that that can work if I scale it back a bit. So let's retreat, because we don't have any other option, obviously. Um, let's immediately go here, so we can see some of the new stuff we revealed. Okay, we did not get the resource I thought maybe we would get, which is uh, also a bit disappointing. But again, I do think that has promise. Um, I just have to not be so aggressive. We also got the chair, okay. So what I do is I'll go through and I'll just kind of resort everything. I know for a fact I want that, right? This I don't necessarily have to have. This is not necessary. And the region is good, but not, not necessary. I definitely want defense and I want thorns, essentially. Against all undead. So that's pretty good. And then that. This is against vampires, so undead. This also, I believe, stacks against the, the Lich. So now, when we look at our stats, this is what we have. So since we start with 5% on Rogue every time, this is now 6% automatically. And then we do plus 2 to vampires, and plus 4 damage against all undead. I assume vampires are also undead. So would that be six? I'm not I'm not entirely sure, but that's how I would do it. Okay. Now let's quickly look and see, did we make any progress on anything? No, we didn't get a single one of these plant things. I don't know if we're supposed to just step it up in difficulty or what, but this might lock us, just straight lock us out of stuff. Um, hmm. Hmm, indeed. We didn't get any more orbs either, which is also a little surprising. Especially with that setup. Well, what are you going to do, right? Okay, well, I think it's time to, to put a cemetery down. doing it. Now let's just see what it costs to upgrade stuff. See, yeah, I, I was afraid of that. So you can, you can upgrade this multiple times. And now you can see here... Now, the, this Ancestral uh, Crypt Golden card... It can be good. You don't. You no longer have the additional slot, but it, I think it, it gives you other stuff that could make survival a little bit easier. Problem is, we wouldn't be hidden. We wouldn't. We wouldn't survive because we wouldn't have the uh, the barrier to health. Uh, but that is something we could we could definitely do. It's nine metal though. That's that's a lot. Uh, something else we need to do is the farm. library is four okay two three five I'm gonna put the farm out to the right here I do want the card unlocked if nothing else so I wish it would let me put it there of course it doesn't we need I, I want to have the wheat fields unlocked so let's go ahead and do this So, 
that being said, let's now go and let's look at our new cards. In this case, all we got was wheat fields. In order to place a wheat field, you have to have a village, okay? So maybe we take that card out and we put wheat fields in. We also didn't have blood grows. Maybe that's part of what was helping us. Now you'll notice you can have a maximum of 15 cards. So maybe I do something like this and we just run a bunch of stuff. Just means we're less likely to get stuff we actually want, right? But we could try it and just see how it does. Because there was a couple of times there where we were just getting a bajillion of the same card. So maybe this gives us more option early. Um, I do think the way to go is building so that we, we weaken them. But then again, you could argue that that might also be why we died. So, whereas before we were able to take a hit. So, not not my proudest run, but at the same time, we're going to have to kind of just find a, a good balance. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, we'll get six uh, rations, I believe, assuming we at least last six rounds uh, on the map, which is very likely. So, maybe we keep this for now, and we can reposition it or get rid of it later. If we want to, that is. See, so it'll let you build another farm off of the farm, which is kind of weird. Okay, so we have that now. It'll let you build right over the farm with one of these. See, I don't really want to put that there. I wish it would let you build anywhere, because there's no reason why I would want to put that here, but, you know, there's a reason why we haven't done anything here. I want the warehouse next to the supply depot here and there. So I gotta wait for that. We could also put a watchtower out if we really wanted to. Maybe this is maybe these types of things are worth it. Again, where do we put it though? That's that's a that's a serious problem for us. Because you're gonna have four spots for these. We obviously aren't going to do them here. We're definitely not do it here. It doesn't leave many spots to do it. Well, that's okay for now. We ended up unlocking the farm and the cemetery. It's just unfortunately we, we it's unfortunate we can't upgrade it. I guess I could just go ahead and unlock the crypt and have Necro unlocked as well. Or maybe we do that. Maybe we just run Necro for a little while and get some stuff. Maybe that's better. Who knows? I, I use Necro a lot early. Let's do it. Whatever. So now you'll notice we have Necromancer as well. And now we have Ancestral Keep. Plus three max HP for every enemy with a soul killed by the hero. Removes the HP bonus from all armor. And gives the hero one resurrection with full heal perk. So you automatically get that. But you don't get the slot. So that's what you that's the trade-off essentially. It's a, it's a, it's another good thing. It really is, but you can't you obviously can't have both. So we'll have to decide in the next run how we do this. And we can just play around with some builds and just see what's what's good and what's what's not working, what is working, things like that. Uh, I don't think we got anything new here. Okay. So I think in the next episode we will play around with some other stuff and we'll see how we do. Again, I don't expect to win every time because as you can see it doesn't always work out. Um, Alright, well I hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.